You know, every week when I look at my email, there's at least one email from one of our military men or women that love to watch your show and love to hunt. And they're out there protecting our rights and our freedoms as Canadians, and that's so important to us. So folks, this show's for you. It's a great hunt, it's a Quebec hunt with Captain Pascal Filiatro from the Canadian Armed Forces. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm Thomas Pigeon, let's get hunting. Dodge presents Canada in the Rough, the hunting adventure documentary series. Canada, the last hunting frontier, three and a half million square miles of unspoiled wilderness, and some of the best hunting on the planet. In the Rough, the hunting adventure documentary series, season six, is brought to you by Dodge, grab life by the horns, Rocky, outdoor gear, the Beretta family of firearms, federal premium ammunition, every shot counts, Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here, Yamaha, ATVs and outboards, and Pioneer Log Homes of BC, the finest log homes on earth. On today's episode, we're saluting the men and women in our Canadian Armed Forces with a military duck hunt in Quebec. First, we'll be with retired Major General Louis McKenzie to talk with him about the Canadian military and his views on hunting. As a passionate and proud hunter himself, Major General McKenzie gives some very good advice on how to keep this great hunting heritage alive and strong in Canada. Later on in the show, Thomas will be in southern Quebec at Roger Gladue's hunt camp for a great marshland duck hunt. Located in the St. Ignace de Loyola region of Quebec, Roger Gladue offers hunting and fishing opportunities to his guest. Today, Thomas will be joined by good friends John Soreau and Captain Pascal Filiatro from the Canadian military. With thousands and thousands of ducks in the air, this episode is one you sure don't want to miss. This segment of Rough Gear is brought to you by Ontario Monster Whitetails Magazine. All Ontario, all the time. You know, Keith, when I grew up as a kid, a pair of rubber boots were really billy boots, you know, and billy boots were, were pretty rough and tumble things, and they were about keeping your feet dry and really uncomfortable, but, you know, they did the job in their day, and technology for all hunting gear, and especially foot gear, has come a long way, and these neoprene boots are something special, aren't they? They sure are, and you know what? I remember those old boots. I remember pulling them off, and my, my sock would be stuck in the end. Yeah. I'd have a bare foot come yeah. out, and they're just, yeah. they didn't have that comfort, but these form-fitting rubbers that companies are coming out today, this one especially, has basically a neoprene sock built right into the rough and tough rubber boot so actually it's like a, a sock on top of rubber so it gives you what you're looking for and as a hunter I know and as many hunters we're looking for dry feet we're looking for comfort and most recently in the hunting market I know as a big game hunter for me I'm looking for helping reduce my my scent my human scent in, in the woods and this um, this has an SIQ liner inside that helps reduce scent so every time your, your foot takes a step and, and human scent pops out the top or puffs out the top, this helps reduce that. And it just is a phenomenal boot. I'm really impressed with this product. Well, I can use any help in uh, my scent for my feet not coming out of the boot, so I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get a pair of these next time I'm out hunting. Absolutely. Coming up, we're with retired Major General Lewis McKenzie. But when you look at support for the military, it's in the 90% bracket. Closed captioning is brought to you by Burris. See the light.
You know, earlier this year, before we headed out on our Quebec duck hunt, I had the privilege and the pleasure of spending some time with retired Major General Lou McKenzie. And Major McKenzie is best known for his expertise and his activities as a key member of the Canadian military. What's less well known about Lou is his passion for the outdoors and his incredible interest and background in hunting. I think you'll enjoy this interview. Yeah, you know, I've always said a nation's obligations abroad are somewhat equivalent to its blessings at home, uh, which means this country's got a hell of a bill to pay. And they really avoided paying that bill, knocking down the mortgage for probably most of the Cold War. And that's coming from a guy that spent a lot of time overseas doing peacekeeping missions, which were quite effective, very low profile. But now we have a bunch of young men and women in Afghanistan, no matter what you think about the mission, that are doing outstanding work. And really, I think leadership plus the performance in the field has really brought a degree of pride uh, to the, not just to the Canadian public, but to the Canadian military too. I went through a period in the early 90s where a lot of my soldiers didn't wear their uniform to work. They changed when they got there. Now I see them on weekends shopping, you know, with their, with their camouflage pattern <laughs> uniforms on. And I think that's fantastic that they're extremely proud to do that. And the nation should be proud too, and it is. All the polls will show that in the rest of Canada, outside of Quebec, the support for, uh, for the mission is extremely high. When you add in uh, Quebec figures, because more European, uh, very skeptical about the mission, and you turn those into a national figure, then it's about 50-50. But when you look at support for the military, it's in the 90% bracket. It's never been higher. Yeah, my life in, in hunting uh, came sort of naturally. And quite frankly, uh, if you didn't fish and you didn't hunt, you didn't eat. I don't want it to sound dramatic, but that was sort of a routine in those days. But it's a tradition, it's a heritage in Canada that, that we have to work on perpetuating because there are those in the anti-gun, anti-hunt camp that are not really that open to a rational argument as to the positive aspects, even the economic aspects of, of hunting, and just see guns as bad, therefore hunting's bad, and therefore it should be stopped, uh, not realizing what the implications of, of those decisions would be. And yet there are tens of thousands of hunters and sportsmen out there that disagree with a lot of the points that are made in some of the legislation, but really they're by themselves out in the woods doing whatever they're doing. The fact is we have to hear from them. And a way to hear from them is to uh, join an organization like SCI, uh, Safari Club International, Canada, and, uh, and create some synergy with numbers. And only in that way will what we see as a Canadian heritage survive. And if it doesn't survive, it'll be due to the efforts of a minority, not a majority. But it'll be due to the fact that the majority hasn't spoken out. And I think it's absolutely essential that we, uh, we drive the bandwagon around this country. And uh, it's in the interests of our, of our heritage. It's in the interests of our sport. Coming up, the Quebec duck hunt begins when we return. This is unbelievable. Ah, my trusty duck boat. It breaks my heart to put this boat away for the winter, but you know what, it's the end of the hunting season, so there you go. But earlier on in the year, we had a chance to get in this boat several times, and one of the most memorable hunts is down in Quebec with my good friend John Sorrell, who's been with me for years hunting, a wildlife biologist, an extraordinary friend, and a passionate outdoorsman and conservationist. Joining us on this hunt was Captain Pascal Filiatro. And Pascal is just back from a seven-month tour in Afghanistan, protecting our rights and freedoms back here at home. Exceptional guy, great hunter too. And we're at Roger Gladue's place in Quebec, and Roger's renowned for putting his hunters in front of some great duck hunting opportunities. It was extraordinary. The skies were black with birds. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this breaking all around. Holy cow, look at this coming right over the boat. Boom! Unbelievable. What a sight. Holy cow. Look at the pintails and the mollies. 
unbelievable. Coming right in. Take it. God bless it. Yeah, yeah, baby. That is a long shot. <laughs> Pascal, this is unreal, eh? We've been watching birds are up yeah. there still all Thousands over us. You know, 150, 160 yards off the deck, and they're just, they know the program. These oh, yeah. birds have been shot at. And Some of them will commit, and at the last second just turn around and went Well, away, the thing so. is, uh, Roger Gladue was saying too, and John was saying earlier, you know, the wind's not in their favor either, you know? They want to come over these trees and stay way high when they come up. But Yeah. So uh, if we were to bring in some artillery, to take down these high flyers, what would you recommend? What's the like, what's a big gun you got on the range? I'll go first with the 105 millimeter, yeah, an artillery gun, you know. Yeah. You can have up to up to what distance? Uh, 20k. How 20k kilometers? Yeah, oh, I'm in. <laughs> Bring that baby. Bring that baby. Let's have at her. <laughs> I mean, I love my Beretta, but I'm, have, I'm, but I'm thinking that 20 kilometer gun would work right now. bucks for one shot. <laughs> Boom, this is it. Yeah, we'll get those migratory geese. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what hit them. Deal, deal, deal. Take it. Yes, Johnny. There you go. Oh, oh, three. Oh, 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 that oh. bird. You are the man. <laughs> you are the man. Take it. Nice. Whoa! High flying. High flying. What a shot! I was about 50 feet in front of that bird. What a shot! <laughs> what a good shot! Okay, right here, right here. Overhand. Take it. Yes. Good yeah. shot. Good shot. Good shot, brother. Good shot. <laughs> Brothers in arms. Team Brothers combination. In arms. Nice Damn, shot. Nice shot. Shoot him. Good shot. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, wait in front. See it. Wait in front. Yeah! I yes! Got it. <laughs> Here we are looking at the mallards and this seal comes buzzing the marsh. Well, he won't be buzzing no more. He ain't migrating south. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's going to be a migratory dinner. <laughs> Good Thomas Walker. Huh? Other right, other right. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas. Let's take him. Take him. Yes! Good oh, shot. Yeah. Look at that go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. You gotta love it. I don't know if anybody saw that first. <laughs> that was last second. I didn't even see him until the last second. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the color on that, eh? Yeah. Perfect full color. Now, is this a, a mature bird or a juvenile? Or? Well, I'll have to check. When we ban birds, yeah. what we do is we open up the cloaca. Yeah. And by opening it up, you'll see here he is. That's the penis of an uh, immature okay, male. Okay, so this is mouth. a little bit weird. Three, three guys <laughs> standing here looking at a duck's penis. <laughs> but there is some science attached to this. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so we can show this at, like in a PG kind of environment. This exactly. is okay. Perfect. Here he is. That's more ducks up there. Beautiful drink. Oh. Ducks in the way. Ducks in the way. Jeez, there's a lot of birds in the air. Isn't this phenomenal, Thomas? Oh, it's unbelievable is what it is. So happy yeah. you were able to this guy's make it out of here. Left, right. Oh, oh look at this. Right oh, in front. Coming in. Coming in. Go. Take him. Go. Yes. Good Who shot. You have to love that. Yeah. Excellent shot, my friend. What a shot. That was excellent. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> that was excellent, man. Oh, yeah. We got to reach up and get those today. Oh, yeah. right? They're way out there. Yeah. Wow. We got three birds in what? One minute? Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's good. That's better. You see? Dango. You see? Good boy. Is he? Good boy, Tango. Coming up, day two of our Quebec duck hunt begins. What's up? 
Good morning, brother. Come on. Up in action. Up to two. Up to two in there. What a beautiful day. Holy oh, yeah. Wow, what a morning, eh? Wow. Look at that. Another day of heaven in Canada. Take him. Oh. Again, again. There yeah. you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, Thomas, Good work. you see you, you're calling, actually brought him right in. Excellent calling. Thank you, sir. Thank Excellent you. Excellent calling. Occasionally it works. Wow. Normally it flares him. But you know what? <laughs> nah, that's the whole thing. People think that every time you blow a call, you're supposed to come in. Yeah. Just be patient. One will come in. Right. I mean, these birds are always shot at. <laughs> They're exactly. not that dumb. Yeah, they get a lot of pressure. Oh, look at those mallards look at that are up there. Look at them. There's hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds. Unbelievable. And there's from the top left. He's turning. He's turning. He's coming in. Here you go, boys. Showtime. Take it, Tom. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Nice retrieve, Pascal. There you go. Let's see what you got, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. He was well ahead. Headshot. Body shot, just crumpled, eh? Just full powder. Yeah. Get ready, get ready. Get ready. No! Yeah! 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 Oh, look at those mallards that are up there. Unbelievable. Whoa. Single to the right. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> sort of did a helicopter drop. <laughs> Where's that? Where's that black? Was it? Oh, it's a nice black duck. But I'll tell you something though, Thomas. Uh, over the years of taking out duck hunters and stuff, yeah. on days like today where there's no winds, bluebird weather, guys that stick it out all day will get these kind of shots yeah. all day long, and you will get your birds. Yeah. It's just that you know people have to stick it out. You just have to be patient. It was a good morning. It was good. You know, a couple of birds, you know, it didn't fly great, but having said that, we, we had some, some good shots here, we had some fun. It's all about being out there. You know, I've often said that hunting is so much more than the taking of game. It's largely about the friendships you make along the way. Spending time with General Lou McKenzie, one of our most respected military commanders, was an unbelievable experience. And 
hunting with Captain Filio Tro was equally memorable. And of course, spending time with my good friend John Soro, life doesn't get any better than that. If you ever have a chance to hunt in that part of Quebec for a waterfowl, you've got to do it. I'm Thomas Pigeon for Canada Rough. Until the next time, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Canada in the Rough has been brought to you today by Dodge, grab life by the horns. Rocky, outdoor gear. The Barretta family of firearms. Federal premium ammunition, every shot counts. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Yamaha, ATVs and outboards. And Pioneer Log Homes of BC, the finest log homes on earth. For more information on today's episode of Canada in the Rough, log on to CanadaInTheRough.com. Learn more about the show and past episodes, and catch up with our latest adventures.